This is Timna Rutledge with the Northeast Texan at northeasttexan.com and we are here today with Kerry Cartier, the disaster guy, with some tips for us. Hi Timna, how are you doing? Hi Kerry. I've got a tip today that I think you'll really like. All it's right. how to use a candle lantern at night. Good deal. Okay. <clears throat> First thing you need is a tin can. Aluminum can, actually. And this one is a little 12 ounce can that I carefully rinsed out and let dry. What we're going to do is make a little hole in the bottom here and the little hole will be what we need to put the candle in. Then we will take a, a knife and we'll cut along here and make a hole so you can see the candle on the outside of the can. That really helps. On the top here you see the little pop tab. The little pop tab is it would normally have a piece of string in it so you could suspend the, the candle lantern and the wind when it hit it would turn the, the spot with the candle away from the wind and not blow it out. We're not going to demonstrate that part but you need to know that it, it works because that's one of the things that makes this this candle lantern so aerodynamically wonderful. I'm going to take a knife now and I'm going to, to make some little holes here for the candle to go in. Just got a little knife and, oh by the way, if you're using a knife, cut away from you. I'm going to put this down by my feet now and hold it with, with my, my feet. And I'm going to put some holes in it for the candle. I'd like you to notice that uh, I'm cutting away from myself. I have this thing, I was born with two feet, I'd like to keep them. So let me do some more cutting here for that candle. Well, maybe that will do it. I'm going to bend these in a little bit make room for the candle. Oh, did you notice all these little teethy points in there look like sharp teeth, shark teeth? They bend inside and hold the candle instead of staying outside and getting you. Um, now let's get this can back into shape. It looks like a can. Well, it's not perfect, but it's close. So now we're going to cut the doors so that we can see the, the candle light coming out of this can. I'm going to do this again, cutting away from me. Okay, first cut is vertical, and if you notice, there's about an inch here and an inch here from the bottom. That gives you some strength in the can so you can open the, the doors and it'll actually work. Now let's try here. Okay, that looks good. One more just for the fun of it. On this side. Then I'll turn the can over and again keep cutting away from you. By the way, this is something that a, a, a normally coordinated 12-year-old should do, so it, don't think it's beyond you. I'm going to put the knife away now, and we'll open the doors on the candle lantern. That just involves folding them back like this, and then you pinch them so they stay open. These edges are sharp. But you're not going to be putting your hand in there, except to light the candle, so you should be okay. Okay. Well, that's what your candle lantern looks like. Of course, it would work better if you had a candle. And wow, there's a candle in my hand!
I'll put it in the, in the candle lantern like this. Notice it's kind of rocket shaped. The nose of it goes really nice into this little area that I've cut out. And we can just push it in maybe an inch so you can have a candle there. And we'd be able to light that, hold it by the, the string, and woo, candle lantern. Oh, and by the way, if it burns down some, it's not really a big problem because you can always take the candle and push it up a little more. This really works. It's something you can use at night, and when you make one, everyone will think you're a genius. And I'm a genius too. <laughs>